The smell shows abandon hemosiderin leather macrophages and colloid. The diagnosis is Taiwan, non-diagnostic or unsatisfactory. The smear shows on the slide is type 2 of colloid goiter with the characteristic of follicular cells in monolayers in the background of abundant thick colloid and few microphages. The smear show a group of protein cells with high NC ratio, prominent nuclei, and lymphocyte at the background. In this case, it is diagnosed by type 2 autoimmune thyroiditis. Okay, for the case study 4, this may show cell ball that form papillary like cluster, which is an unusual finding. There are also a few atypical cells that are very common finding in benign thyroid lesion. So, the diagnosis is the type 2 benign hyperplastic nodule. This is characterized by the cell ball pattern, which is the sign of hyperplastic nodule. In cytology, based on picture A, B, and C, the smear shows the characteristic that is suspicious for atypical undetermined significance that is type 3. But based on histology, the diagnosis is confirmed as papillary carcinoma because of the presence of hyperchromatic nucleus. Smear show molecular cells with pleomorphic nucleus, coarse chromatin, prominent nuclei, and are in rosette formation as shown in red arrow. The diagnostic is thyroid 4 as suspicious for follicular nucleosum. Thank you for your time.